In the video for today, I'm going to show you five simple and easy methods to track a lost or stolen phone without a SIM card. Sometimes what happens is that you may just misplace your phone. But what these thieves do is that they try and remove the SIM first, even if they cannot switch off the phone. So in such a case, what you could do is use a tracking application that is actually going to show the last location of your phone. You could try and get there and try to get your phone back. So if you have an iPhone, you could get online and do a search for find my iPhone and uh, you could log into your iCloud using your iCloud ID and trace your phone on maps out there. If you have an Android device, what you could do is you could uh, go ahead and search for find my device and log in with the same email address which was on the lost or stolen phone so you could sign in and once you do that you are going to see the last location for your phone on maps out here so if you know the place you rush to this location and try and get your phone back from here the second method to track your phone is by reporting your phone as lost or stolen to the local police station just get there write an application or you could type in one and report it as lost so that in the future if your phone is being misused you are not caught up for it so as long as you have reported your phone as uh, lost or stolen you are safe Okay, keep that receipt or get the application attested by the local police station and keep a copy of it. You could use the third method to actually try and see if your phone is traceable. You could call up the brand customer support or the SIM card company's customer support to try and see if these guys can help you track your phone or get the last location for your phone. If you get a report, you could maybe get to the police station and give them a report or you could try and get to the location yourself and try and see if anybody has seen your phone or if they have seen it with somebody or anything on those lines. Now, the next method is pretty interesting, but you need to ensure that you had set this up first. So I recommend you set this up right now so that in the future, if your phone is lost or stolen, you could actually get help by utilizing this method to track your phone down. Yeah, you could set up a password to shut down your phone. So if you set up a password to shut down your phone, if uh, somebody is trying to steal your phone, you could use somebody else's Android device or a laptop or iPhone or whatever it is and uh, track your phone using Find My Device. Okay, so the person who is trying to steal your phone is not going to be able to shut down your phone because when they do so, they are going to be asked for a password, which they wouldn't know. So your phone is still going to be online. So in the meantime, you could try and trace your phone through Find My Device or iCloud or whatever it is. Okay. Another method to track your phone is by using Bluetooth tracking devices. Bluetooth tracking devices are small bits that you could hang on your keychain or maybe keep in your wallet to ensure that your phone is not going far away from you. Okay, once you pair your Bluetooth tracking device with your phone, if you're moving away from your phone or if your phone is being taken away from you uh, at a certain distance, there is going to be an alarm. So when there's an alarm, you're going to be, uh, you know, kind of alerted about it and you're going to you know, ensure that your phone is not uh, misplaced or is going away from you. So I hope this helps and I hope you got some value out of my video for today. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.